Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natasha Sella and I'm the founder of Confly Healthy, where we talk about beauty, health, and entrepreneurship. Confly Healthy is all about inspiring you to stay confidently healthy in the mind, body, and spirit. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and leave a comment down below to introduce yourself. And yeah, connect with me on Instagram. I'd love to get to know who, who watches me on YouTube. And if you're interested in watching, more about getting this lovely artistic boho chic well more not boho chic but more sophisticated art gallery chic stay tuned and keep on watching and yes i'm so excited also i'll be giving you guys my little review on this baby gem which is the look that i used and guys if you guys like this look let's keep let's go let's get into it all right Okay guys, so we are back with the Anastasia palette. And I'm gonna use, oh, Prism, by the way. <sighs> we are gonna use these two colors because I wanted like a very like European, uh, very like European posh, but a little retro look. So let's go ahead and begin because I heard some reviews from this line, um, from this, I should say palette and it wasn't the best but I wanted to do like I bought the palette and haven't used it yet so <laughs> here it goes so I'm hoping Spear is really really pigmented so let's just zoom you in okay guys what what? Okay, at least you see a little yellow on camera, but in person, I want it to be very, very bright. So maybe we do some spray. I'm going to use this Photo Finish Primer Water. Let's see. Oh no. It's kind of chalky, to be honest. Let's see. It feels like this one was like made out of chalk. But you know, we're going to keep on going with it. Okay, now the pigment's coming. If you guys hear that, it's my puppy. So it's not Cordero. Okay, guys, I'm nervous to see how this look comes out, but we're just going to layer it on, baby girl. Okay, better. It's kind of heavy on the eye, but... We bought it, I got it, we're using it. We're gonna do it again with the spray. I'm doing it close because, guys, it took a lot of sprays to get this pigmented and I kinda wanna speed up the process. And honestly, if you wanna use any spray, um, I just grabbed this because it was clear. And, um, excuse me, nearby but usually i use the ooh mac prime one and that stuff works good so i'm gonna take a little bit more spray it's actually the first time honestly guys if you guys wanted to end it right here and just do like a wing liner you could in some falsies i um the only thing is just heavy. The look is just it's heavy. Maybe it's because I'm using this photo finish prime and usually for the face, but hey, we gotta work with gut. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the black. Um, when I envision this look, I envision Europe. And what I'm gonna do um, is just we'll see, because I think. 
Guys, this is what happens when you just like wing it. But hey, we're just getting ready together. And yeah, so we're gonna take obsidian, which is like black as the palette. And we're gonna take this very Sigma E45 brush. I used to be a Sigma queen, guys. Um, because I was watching this Brazilian YouTuber, Camila Coo, I think, I don't know. Um, and I just loved her style. So I bought everything that she told me to buy. But now I don't see any videos of her. So who knows? Guys, you see how the black washed it away? So usually with my blacks, what I like to do is like literally warm it up in my skin. And just go from there. So I I was thinking about like taking this off and restarting again, but honestly, I'm gonna give you guys my full review on this palette. You guys, you know what else I haven't done? A nice smoky eye. Like full, you know, with side effect and all. I just feel like with this, these two, there's a lot of dust. Um, colors in the prism palette is so chalky that it's like wiping away the other color. Black is such a hard pigment to create. Well, so, and it's kind of like a gray color. It kind of fades out to gray. I, I don't know how this would hold up if you were out in the, like a European club with all the mist or in Vegas, but. Guys, I don't know if you can see, but look how splotchy, splotchiness. Oh. <laughs> I know I'm late to the game of recording this, but you know, my opinion's valid and I don't know what in God's name was happening in the factories of Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is such great concept and I don't know what happened. So shame on the manufacturer, shame. Just joking. Um, actually, so we're gonna work with what we got and because we're thankful that we even have a palette and grateful and I'm gonna go into that black again I press the spray and you see, wow, okay, now with the spray maybe. European Vogue, here I come. Do it again with it this side. Oh, that's raw. That's not. <laughs> Guys, this palette is just not working with me. But I'm determined to rise. This is like bringing me back to my Czechoslovakia days. Oh, yeah, when I was in Prague. Oh, God, I hope I did not get the country wrong. I've been to so many countries that I kind of forget which... Like, since I've been so focused on the biz. Oh, guys, I'm going to leave it like that. Just smooth this out. Okay, guys, so my impression is I, this is not my favorite black at all. And I wanted to love it. But, honestly, this is like one messed up black. So I'm going to go back into that yellow color, Spear. Literally dig that in. <sighs> I 
So yeah, I wonder if this got chalky with anyone else using this palette. And spraying anything to make it a little bit more pigmented. Or I should say... Okay. So, <laughs> this has been one of the most interesting looks I've done. Because this kind, I feel like, I mean, let's just work with it. I feel like I look like one of those Russian girls who kind of just like the smoky, you know, very like, kind of messy eye looks. But it works well with them. Just hand me my cigarette. That's how I feel like. No, I'm just joking. Do not smoke, ladies and gentlemen. Horrible for you. So, guys, what I'm doing right now is literally cleaning this up with Unity. Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, all these behind me are, like, my quotes to keep me motivated, like, to inspire me and to get me out of my mind when I work. <laughs> so, I'm going to take Unity right now on a very clean beach cosmetic brush and I'm just gonna like just smooth the crease up because I hate having messy creases but since um <gasps> this product kinda already did that for me we gotta work with Ricky Cat Okay, it's not looking all oh, guys that's not my makeup skills what the okay much better oh my gosh this like makeup is going to supposed to make my life easier not like Make it more complex. This is where I need Patrick Star in my life. Okay, guys, so we're just gonna go ahead and do mascara because this is as good as it's gonna get. I didn't I only wanted to use two colors for this look. And I um was gonna Hey guys, so I'm back from getting dressed and this is the look that I came. I'm wearing this beautiful um, A-line dress from Windsor and it has a cut on the left leg. So this is the dress, it's a turtleneck. If, um, if I had a long mirror in my house, I'm getting one shortly, I would show you the dress. But um, even a turtleneck like this will look super cute. I mean, look how sophisticated mm, I feel. So let's go ahead and do lips. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking a red color because this is like art glam, art chic. Um, I'm going to go ahead or we can do like a nude. And I just kip, kissed my, I just kissed my, kissed my lipstick. So this one right here that I have is called Naturally Transformed. It's a muted color. I just feel like I just, I want to try something new. I have all this makeup and I want to like try different nude stuff. And then I have this one. It's Lime Crime, I think. This was a gift. And it's called Sasha for my baby sister because that was her first word. This would be a cute color too. So let's go ahead and do this one first. I'll show you guys two makeup, two lipsticks. Just in case you want a natural look. Hmm, turned out well.
and this is that result. But we're gonna try something to new. I'm pretty sure when this dries, it's gonna be like a matte. I kind of feel like this one's a little too peachy for what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and we're gonna try the red, okay? Oh, guys, I'm so excited for this look. This one that I'm using right here is the Viva Glam number one from MAC. And MAC is like, ah, oh, hallelujah. Um, MAC collab, please. Manifestation list, hello. Um, so, I'm going to use a Morphe lip liner. And this one's called Linda. I'm excited so far the lip liners but we're gonna work with what we got uh -uh. Uh, guys I know on camera the lip liner was really like cherry red it in person it's very like dark <laughs> 